Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to teach you how to modify your Valheim game. If you're like me and you really enjoyed your playthrough of Valheim, but perhaps was founding certain elements lacking, maybe in the quality of life, or whatever the case may be, and you're looking to change up your experience, maybe you've just played a bunch of hours, maybe again, like me, you're waiting for the next updates to come out for some new content in the game, and you're very excited for that, but in the meantime, you're wanting to, you know, experience something new or do something different, this video is gonna be for you. All right, let's go. Alrighty, so first things first, you're going to head to nexusmods.com forward slash Valheim. Nexus Mods is the place where you can find a lot of mods for a lot of different games. It's a very reliable source, but that doesn't mean that it's not without potential issues as well. So I normally search for my mods via sort of the most popular, the most downloaded, um, and that gives you a decent degree of, of safety with regards to downloading the mods here. Now, there's actually one element with regards to modding uh, Valheim, which is very important. Important. And that's that most of the mods are technically kind of like plugins that require the Bepin X mod to work. That's kind of technically how it works. Um, but yeah, the majority of mods that you download will require Bepin X. Some mods will require a couple of different things, but the majority is Bepin X. So that's what we're going to cover for you today. So we clicked into Bepin X here off of the uh, off of the requirement here in the mod uh, the mod description. And we're going to go to the manual download here. I'll actually probably put these uh, put these links in uh, in the description for you as well, so you can probably catch them down there. Now we've downloaded this. We're going to throw this on our desktop. We've got a couple other nonsense over here on the desktop. But what we're going to do is we're going to extract this here on our desktop. And these things we can actually just delete. We don't need those additional things. It's this Bepinex uh, pack Valheim folder that we're looking for. So now that we've got that and we know where it is, we need to open our Valheim folders. So we can go into Steam, go into Home, find it in here, or find it in your recent games. You go to Manage, go to Browse Local Files, and that's gonna open up your Valheim uh, folder. Now, instead of moving this into there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna essentially copy and paste the contents of this Bepin X Pack Valheim folder, and you're just gonna drop it into your main Valheim folder here. So you can literally just copy these over, copy them from one to here. It may replace one or two things, it did not. Uh, and this now means that your Valheim is ready to be modded. And essentially, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need to put a Valheim mod in the right place within here for it to work. So we're gonna download, download ourselves a mod and, uh, and show you that really quickly. We're gonna get this better UI mod. <clears throat> I think this is uh, one that would be quite interesting to to make things. As you can see, it, it changes certain elements like your durability colors and you know just little teeny tiny minor quality of life, nice things that you know, maybe make it more of an all rounded game uh, or or just make your life easier. So we're gonna go ahead and download this mod. We're gonna go to the manual download. Download additional fires required. Bepin X. We are aware. Thank you for letting us know though. Go ahead and pick slow download. Your download will start in several seconds. Now, once this is downloaded, we're just gonna need to pop it into the correct folder. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna pop it on our desktop like we did previously. We're going to extract here, and this gives us our better UI mod there. I can close that. So this is gonna go in, again, this is our Valheim folder that we can access through Steam, right click browse files. We're gonna go into the Bepin X folder in there, open up plugins, and then this is where we're going to drop this plugin or this mod for the game. Now that we've done that, we should be able to load into the game and uh, and see that our better UI has in fact been installed. So let's go ahead and do that to uh, to make sure that that's worked for us. We're gonna cut to uh, to make sure that's worked. Oh, and yeah, so when you see this pop, pop up here, by the way, this Bepin X Valheim, this means that the, uh, the Bepin X mod is working and it should say something about one plugin, one patcher plugin loaded. There we go, perfect. Which means that uh, what we've done so far has or should have worked. Um, so we're gonna load up Valheim and we're gonna have a quick look. So assuming everything worked correctly, you should see in the top left corner, uh, running Bepin X, the version, the number of plugins that have been loaded. You can uh, see here that we've got some additional information there as well. 
uh, which we didn't have there previously. And once we've loaded into the game, we should see the new UI stoofs, which will be pretty nice. Now there's loads of different mods that you can do, some really cool ones. Um, I say really cool just because they make your life much nicer, you know, some really cool quality of life ones. There's some also really cool builds that you can sort of have and put into your world and various bits and pieces. I'll be doing a lot of videos on modding Valheim, what the different mods do, what some of the best ones are, some of the more adventurous ones, some of the maybe less well known and used ones as well. Um, but we're in now and we can see that we've got the, uh, you know, the, the rarity or the level of the item is show indicated by number of stars. Now, instead of a small number, the durability is green, but if it starts to get low, it'll be orange, yellow, red. Um, you know, even the movement speed, I think, turns red here, which wasn't previously. So it's just a bunch of small little changes, nothing dramatic. But obviously, the more mods you add, the more dramatic the changes will be. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on modding Valheim now that we are, or now that I am in the point where I'm sort of waiting for new content to be added to the game. I stream uh, I stream five days a week at the moment. You know, It'll go back to seven days a week eventually. But uh, while I'm working really hard on the YouTube videos, I'm taking two days off a week to do that. So I go live every day except Monday and Friday at one o'clock on twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy that's one o'clock uk time every day except monday and friday it would be great to see some of you guys there regardless i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one take care